Oh, sorry, I wasn't aware you were filming. This is Dutch licorice. It's a Dutch delicacy, and I'm addicted to it. Is it healthy? No, but it's delicious. What I should be eating as a healthy person is this diet, recognizable food. And now imagine you've got Parkinson's disease. Healthy diet is now extra important for many, many reasons. Diet and Parkinson's disease is a big issue. There is now literature to suggest that certain diets may increase the risk of future development of Parkinson's disease and other types of diet may reduce the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. And then there are people who have already got the condition, now diet becomes extra important. There is interaction between proteins such as yogurt or cheese or steaks or fish with levodopa, one of the key drugs to treat Parkinson's disease. Don't try to take the medication simultaneously with high protein meals, but try to spread the proteins over the day because they are useful to maintain an adequate muscle mass and your body weight. There is a big issue around constipation, the slow bowel movements. People with slow bowel movements have a reduced efficacy of their medication and lots of the good stuff that you see here, the high fibers, high fluid intake, um, help you to maintain adequate bowel movements and thereby increase the efficacy of the medication. And there are other issues related to swallowing problems. That's why people um, may not like to eat anymore. There is the reduced smell, why the food doesn't taste as good as it used to do. So many people don't eat as healthy and as much as they should do and thereby lose weight. And weight loss is a marker that something's not going well for people with Parkinson's disease. All of these complex issues around food and Parkinson's disease will be discussed in this episode of Parkinson TV. I will try to give the good example, get rid of my licorice and start eating the healthy food now and so should you. Mm -hmm.